Tom, any Mooney lover has to be absolutely enthralled with the fact that not only is Mooney back in business, but there are new Moonies coming. I mean, this is the delivery of the century we're talking about here. Uh, everybody's very excited about it. But the big question right now is, as Mooney gets back into production, as Mooney gets its feet back on the ground, so to speak, so they can put airplanes in the air, how are things going? What are you learning? And most important, uh, what's the future look like at this point? Yeah, Jim, thanks. Uh, the uh, debut at Sun and Fun here is the M10, which is our new all composite design, a two plus one seat, if you will. And there's no better time for Mooney to reinvigorate its innovation than this restart. We're dedicating a significant amount of resource to the newest model in the fleet. Why this platform? Why now? What does the market look like for you? And why did you make the choices you did? Well, the key to sustaining this industry, as we all know, is to get younger pilots and new pilot starts. And to give them an airplane like the M10T, which is our trainer version, which will take them from their very first flight to a very sophisticated flight environment, is really important. The M10J is a sport version of that airplane. You know, for years and years, we always hear, when are you going to bring back the J model? Well, we have brought back the J model. It's minus one seat, but it should be comparable performance. It's a retractable gear, as I said, all composite diesel, 155 horsepower. The diesel is also very important because we're not only looking to reinvigorate pilot starts and flight training in North America, but all over the world. And that's a huge piece of the puzzle to getting a successful product. And we are Mooney International now, so it just stands to reason that we're looking at the market with a global view. What's the schedule look like for the TEN's immediate future? What are some of the numbers associated? Of course, the big number is how much and when can I get mine? We started working on the airplane approximately a year ago. It truly is a clean sheet design. But we are using key elements of the Mooney legacy design, like the straight vertical tail. So one year ago, we started laying the first lines. And we have this mock-up here at the show. But the mock-up is actually made off of production tooling. So next thing you'll see, Jim, by July, possibly the first part of August, will be a proof of concept aircraft. Now, if you back up on the FAA timeline, we had our preliminary type board meeting back in January. So we've established our program with the FAA, and it will be certified out of the Los Angeles ACO. And we have our cert basis, and now we're moving forward with uh, all of our master data for submittal. That will put our certification point at fourth quarter of 2017, which is a very realistic schedule we think that production will start possibly six months before the certification date so that we have units available for sale shortly after our TC. And obviously, the price? We're not disclosing the price right at this time. There are some challenges within the supplier base. One of the things that we found with the restart of the factory is that after six years of only minimal operations, suppliers go out of business. Suppliers also take the brunt of the downturn and smaller companies that we have depended on for years and years are no longer in existence. So for us to go out and develop an all new supplier base is gonna take quite some time. We should have it figured out by the POC flight in August, but right at this point, the final production numbers and the final cost are still to be determined. Well, we thank you so much for spending some time with us. We're really looking forward to watching the new genesis of Mooney for the future. And uh, God willing, we'd love to be around when it starts flying. I guess it'll be in the August time frame and uh, keeping an eye on what will be, I hope, the next generation of a really exciting new series of Moonies. Aero TV is brought to you by Explore no limits flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com.
now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com.